Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Cute and Crafty and I am back with another video for you today. I have a quick impromptu Dollar Tree fall haul video. Yes, they are putting out their fall decor faster than I can keep up with it, you guys. And they are doing a wonderful job. Let's get into it because I'm super excited about it. So Dollar Tree has out these beautiful thick pumpkins. This is so cute. Happy fall, y'all. I mean, I don't even know what I would do with it, how I would redo it, because it's really, really pretty just the way it is. Maybe I would peel this off. This is a, a kind of a 3D sticky. Maybe I'd take that off and just write in my own handwriting. Maybe put some um, raffia on the top with a bow. But this is actually, with the orange truck, just cute the way it is. They also have this one that says, Hello Pumpkin. This one I would completely change. Um, I would just paint it orange and then I would rewrite Hello Pumpkin probably in white. And I don't know what I'd do with this piece. This piece is cardboard, this orange piece, all the way up to the green. So I don't know what I'd do with that, if I would put it back on or what. But again, super chunky, nice piece, $1.25. And I got this stuff at the Dollar Tree where Howard lives. He's up um, towards Cleveland. If you live in Ohio, he's about 40 minutes away from me. So his Dollar Tree had this. I'm, my Dollar Tree didn't have fall stuff out yet. Um, they just have florals out. So I got this fresh apple cider jug. This is cute to go on your tiered tray decor. Again, a nice, thick, chunky piece. Um, they had another one that said pumpkin punch. I didn't get that one. So a lot of these pieces, I really don't know how I would redo them because they're just cute as is. They have these. How nice and chunky are these? And you guys know um, last year, a lot of us were doing this on our own. They had the leaves, but they did not have them with the um, faux leather and the little button pieces, the little metal button pieces. So... We just DIY'd our own last year. Well, this year you don't have to. Dollar Tree came out with it for you already done. So it's gonna be interesting trying to figure out what I'm gonna do different to this because it's already cute and it's already a DIY that I've done in the past. So how do I make this different? We'll see. Or maybe I'll leave it the way it is and just use it in my decor. Dollar Tree is killing it, you guys. This is very reminiscent of Hobby Lobby. Look at these. These pumpkin crates. Hobby Lobby had these last year and the year before, except on a bigger scale. They were much bigger. But they had the same type of crates at Hobby Lobby. Dollar Tree has come out with a smaller version of it. But how cute. How do you redo this? I mean... They're making it hard for me to craft. But I'll think of something. You know I will. This is really cute. I don't want to go over the wording. Autumn harvest blessings. Welcome gathered together. I really don't want to paint over that. So what do you do with this? I wouldn't even change out the bow. I guess you could add some, again, some raffia. Maybe some of the uh, pitberry garland. Just kind of, you know, twist that around on here. I don't know. They're super cute, just as they are. They have this fall is in the air mason jar. This is new. They've always had mason jars for the fall, but this is a little bit bigger one. And I've not seen this one. This one was not out last year. This one is really nice. I like it. And again, don't know how I will be changing this unless I just take it away from being fall completely and maybe make it just farmhouse. But this is a good size. This is bigger than they've been coming out with, I think. This also very reminiscent of um, Hobby Lobby, except Hobby Lobby's is more substantial. It's more chunky. It's thicker. This is fall in love. Look at the four pumpkins with the word fall. Tell me that this is not Hobby Lobby, except this is very, very thin. Hobby Lobby's is chunkier, thicker, but this is cute. I don't know how to redo it. I guess I would take these letters off and maybe work with um, 
craft paper, like some, you know, scrapbooking paper, change out the pumpkins, add some more leaves, put the letters back on, write in love in my own handwriting, and maybe add some twigs up here. I mean, it's cute the way it is, but you know, I got to add my own twist to it. So I got two of those because I think one, I'm going to leave it the way it is and one I'm going to play with. They came out with these pumpkin patch and hello fall little, I don't know if you want to call it a breadboard or what, but look how cute those are. They're really, really taking the, the work out of crafting. I mean, they're really making me have to think, <laughs> what am I going to do to change this up? Because they're already really cute just the way they are. So I grabbed these. Then they came out with some long signs, and these are new. Um, this one is a long pumpkin that says Autumn Blessings on it. I did not see this exact one last year. So it's a big old long skinny pumpkin. I can see a few things to do differently with this. Then they came out with this really cute farm fresh pumpkin patch, hay rides, corn maze, and hot cider sign. And it has a 3D set of three pumpkins on it. Beautiful just the way it is. Look at that. How cute is that? Like, what, what do you do with this? How do you change it? Raffia and a bow, pretty much. I mean, it's just really pretty, just the way it is. This is new. I did not see this last year, thankful and blessed. It is a yard stake. It's a shovel and with the signs on it. This is cute. I really like this. Don't have any ideas, but you guys, you know they'll come to me. These are so cute. I got one of each. Look at these chunky square pumpkins. Grateful. And I would take this off and probably, since I'm more of a traditional um, crafter as far as colors and things like that for Christmas and fall and things like that, Easter, I tend to stick with the traditional colors. I would do like maybe an orange, white, and maybe a lighter green, like a sage, maybe. But this is not my my color my color scheme. I love orange and brown and gold and yellow and colors like that for fall. So I would change this out. I would take this paper off and put another kind of um, craft paper on or scrapbook paper on. And this is easy to pop off because one of them has already popped off. And underneath it is actually the wording itself. Um, I'll show you. So this is this one grateful. These colors are really pretty, this burgundy and this um, blue, but again, it's not my thing. Harvest. They even went so far as to paint the sides. So, I mean, they really paid attention to detail. And then this one says thankful. And this is where I'm showing you that this comes off super easy. And thankful is already underneath it. So if you weren't going to redo this, you just got an extra little word you could use for something else. But these are substantial. I like them. And I know that I'll redo them some way. But they are cute as is. Absolutely adorable as is. Look at what Dollar Tree did. Look at these. You guys know we're always making our own rolling pins for our tiered trays. And these are pretty good size. These are not like small pieces. These are pretty big as far as rolling pins go. So these are cute, Hello Pumpkin and Falling Leaves. I grabbed one of each. Love these. Can't think of anything different I do. Maybe add a different kind of bow, but they're gorgeous just as is. Then I picked up a few things that have nothing to do with fall, but I had to show you guys the fall stuff. I grabbed this sign that says, together is our favorite place to be, because I know I will use it in the spring when I'm doing more of my bee decor. This is what caught my eye, this big 3D wording that sticks out on here. So that's why I picked it up. So I will save that 
for my spring decor. I grabbed four of the six by eight canvas. I have a Christmas in July video coming up, or not coming up. I'm on series number. My next video will be three. So I have a um, DIY that I, I'm going to do for that video. So I needed those. I grabbed these wood planks. You get six in a pack. And I just grabbed these to throw in my stash because I haven't seen them in a while. So, And this was the only pack there. So I grabbed them. Of course, Christmas in July would not be Christmas in July without snow. So I have the Super Soft Microfiber Cloths. I grabbed two of these. You guys know we love crafting with these and making faux snow projects with them or snowmen. And this is going to be a snowman. So good luck to me on that. I really haven't figured out exactly what, how I want to do it, but it'll come together. And then this is new to Dollar Tree. I've not seen this. This is Natural Writing Chalks. And it's in the color white, and there are a hundred pieces in this box. I've never seen this at Dollar Tree before. And you guys know what I want to do with it. This is high quality, sanitary, calcium chalk, smooth and writing, non-brittle. And I want to use this to see if I can make chalk paint. Yep, I am going to crush it up into a fine, thin powder and add it to my acrylic paint to see if it helps in the coating of how you know you paint and you want to use one coat and everything's covered that's why we use chalk paint i want to see how this works i know i've seen other youtubers crush up chalk and use it in their acrylic paint and some say that it's really good and some say it's not that big of a deal it still kind of paints the same i want to see for myself so i'm going to use this I grabbed some more of the Dollar Tree vinyl letters. They're coming in a sheet like this now. It was a longer skinny sheet, but this is how it's coming. And it has um, numbers on it and punctuation, asterisks, periods, commas, exclamation marks. So um, semicolon, question mark, equal, plus. I mean, they have a lot of other little uh, parts that the vinyl letters before did not have. So I grabbed two sheets of that because I love using them. I grabbed one of the metal roosters. Now I've seen these before and I've used these before and I thought I'd just grab it. It was the last one they had. So I will add that to my stash for my farmhouse crafting. And then I got one of these bottle caps and I got this because I just wanted to compare. It seems like it's smaller than the ones I um, currently have. So I'm just going to compare it to see if it is, because if it is, I got a project I want to use it for that I think it would be perfect. So that is it, you guys. That's all I have. My Dollar Tree is now a Dollar Tree Plus. I am super, super excited. One of the Dollar Trees that Howard took me to up where he lives is now a Dollar Tree Plus. So just hold on, be patient. Dollar Tree Pluses are coming. I didn't think we'd get one here. And we have one. So, and I frequent at least one, two, three, four, four Dollar Trees in my area. And one of them out of the four has already turned into a Dollar Tree Plus. So we'll see what the other ones do. If I don't get but that one, I'm happy with that. I am not greedy. I am so happy that I have one. So please, you guys, just be patient. You probably will get a Dollar Tree Plus in your area. I they're just coming. They're coming. So that's all I have for you today. Just wanted to pop on here and show you all of the cool, neat, new stuff that Dollar Tree is coming out with for the fall. And they, I'm so excited, I can't even talk. And they're just starting to roll this stuff out. So you know this is nowhere near what they're going to do. So I will keep you guys um, posted as I find new things. I will pop on with a quick call and show you what I got. As always, be blessed, stay safe, and have something beautiful today, you guys. I love you, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.